How much does it cost to fly to the Philippines from your nation right now? They're very expensive. I keep hearing everybody telling me the prices are double what they used to be or more. Uh, anyway, I've looked at a website and I've got some data and I've been a little bit surprised at what we have coming in in the coming months. I'm going to look at prices from uh, LAX, Los Angeles, California, Miami, Florida, Sydney, Australia, and London, UK. To give you some ideas. All these prices are in dollars. I'm using Google Travel site, which is interesting. They've got airlines, hotels, different things that you can uh, check out. Um, and they've got they 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 give you pricing way out way out in the future. And uh, when I first got on there, I'm logged in from the Philippines, and everything was in peso. So I got on my VPN and I logged in from the U.S. And now everything's in dollars. Uh, so I'm using dollars for comparison in in Australia and in, in UK as well. Sorry about that. You guys know what the conversion rate is probably. Otherwise, I would have had to log in from uh, the UK and or Australia to get the proper, uh, to get Australian dollars and uh, British pounds. So let's go over to Google, google.com slash travel and check out some of the information. And they've got uh, like a calendar that shows you prices far out in the distance. So kind of interesting. Anyway, we're going here to flights and uh, they've got a number of things you can do hotels vacation rentals anyway go down here and i'm going i'm going to put in one way and maybe we'll uh, you can put in multi-city you can put round trip there how many people one person economy you got choice premium economy business first just put in the economy i think most people travel economy not all of us have the money to travel business class uh, Los Angeles, a lot, a lot of you uh, fly out of Los Angeles. You might come from St. Louis or uh, Minneapolis or some other place. You go to Los Angeles or San Francisco and, and go from there. And uh, we'll put in Cebu City as our destination. Uh, could put in Manila. You might, you'll probably, you can probably do a non-stop going to Manila, for instance. June 25th, we'll start with that date. And uh, anyway, let's hit search. See what happens here. Best flights. And you can further filter this down. Uh, number of stops, uh, any number of stops. You can, if you only want one stop or fewer, uh, which airlines you want. And they've got all the airlines pretty much marked there. So you can specify the airlines. Bags. Um, Put in how many carry-on bags, for instance. Let's put in uh, one carry-on bag. See if that changes it. And let's see, one carry-on bag stops airlines price. Uh, you can set the price range if you want. The times, departure anytime, arrival anytime, emissions. That's a strange one, isn't it? Um, you want to fly on a flight that has a jet that has less emissions. Um. <laughs> connecting airports. You want to put in connecting airports. And duration. You can put in flight durations. I kind of cut the cut this page off a little bit, but uh, Anyway, it's going to tell us everything we need to know, I believe. And uh, so they give us flights, Philippine Airlines, Korean Air, and the prices here. Now I jump back to this first page here, and I'm just going to hit the calendar. When I hit the calendar, it uh, very interesting, it brings up, uh, it's, a good, it's a good way to sort out into the future. It brings up uh, a couple of months at a time, and it shows you the current prices listed for each of those. Now, for instance, over here in July, um, 692 U.S. dollars, and I put this in U.S. dollars. It, initially, I had logged in from the Philippines, and I got everything in Filipino pesos. So I put my VPN on from the USA, and I get U.S. dollars, so you, wherever you're from, you will probably get your uh, local currencies. 
Anyway, 692. Now, if you that's if you book that today. If you wait, if you wait un, until July, try to book it. It's probably going to be a completely different uh, price because you're probably going to find a lot of people picking up that uh, picking up that ticket at that cheaper rate and the demand will be up the prices will be up but anyway they drop substantially here 700 704 on the 13th of july um me myself if i was coming from phoenix arizona or texas some other place i would have to fly of course it's going to cost me a hundred dollars probably to fly uh, into lax and we can go hit the arrow here jump over to august and that will populate as well Oh, look at that. August, uh, $600, $502, 23rd of August. So those are reasonable prices. And let's see what happens in September. Okay, still right around 500, uh, 500, 550 range, somewhere in there. It's interesting. How about September, October? 500, 600 range, October. No, they're getting 500 to into the 600s. And as we get into November and December, well, let me back up here. As we get into October and November, you're getting into the high season. And still, you have some pretty low reasonable rates. I don't know if they're that, I guess $500 to fly for, you know, 14 hours isn't too bad a deal. And let's get to December. All right. You see prices going up here. Um, they jump from from mid 500s into 640 right away in December. So you have a lot of Filipinos, OFWs, overseas Filipino workers, traveling to the Philippines for the holidays to see their family. And so prices go up in the holidays, December, the Christmas, and other holidays. And let's see what happens in January. Um, for instance, let's see, let's go to the 25th, 883. Sometimes on a holiday, prices can drop on a holiday because most people are settled in with families, don't want to travel on the holiday. Um, New Year's Eve, 632, for instance. Uh, jump back to 669. People traveling after the New Year's. Yeah, still. Back to 500s, 494. Under. I have met a lot of people from Florida, so let's just out of curious. Miami, Florida. Miami International Airport. And there again, I'm going to hit the, uh, instead of searching a particular day here, if I hit search, it will just search for this day and a couple of days around there. Um, if I hit this here, it will populate. So they're probably going to fly around the world the other direction. They're going to fly across Africa, uh, the Middle East, and uh, a little bit longer that way, than if you're flying from the west coast, but it's closer because they're 3,000 miles away from LAX, about. And yeah, prices are up there, 1,000 to 17, 1,800. And I'm still one way here. August, dropped down to about 1,000 on some days, 836 on, on August 31st, interesting, drop there. 900s, October, 900s to 1,000. So uh, there was one there for 798. So there are options. If you are flexible, if you are flexible, gives you some idea what's out there. December there again, prices go back up in December. A lot of people flying in December. Now I'll bounce over here to Sydney, Australia. There are a lot of Aussies here. And uh, just get an idea what uh, what they get charged. Wow, they got some really good deals here. 
best flights um, for this particular day. Wow, 190 Scoot Airline and 20 hour flight, one stop in Singapore, Cebu Pacific, Cebu Pacific, 335, 337. Other flights, they go up, they go up in price. So I'm going to change this up just a little bit. Uh, I went over here and I changed it to round trip from Los Angeles to Manila. Uh, so you're not getting that second uh, second flight. And uh, let's go over here and instead of hit search, which we'll just search for this date, let's hit the calendar and that will populate with round trip prices. And uh, so you're not paying for the trip from Manila to Cebu. So that's interesting. Uh, these are not too far off from what I paid a couple, uh, couple times I flew here. First time I flew here on Philippine Airlines, I think it was right around 800. So here in February, whoops, let's back up. Let's back up this February. So we're stretched out a bit. So let's jump back here to where we're at and see where we're at. Okay, June. All right, like everybody's been telling me, prices are about double what they used to be. And that would be accurate looking at these numbers, over 2,000. Uh, 2,000 to 2,900. Uh, that's expensive. That's expensive. Oh, even over here. Very high July. How fast are they going to drop? Let's let's look out. Still over a thousand. You got a couple down here. A couple down here at the end of August. Just under a thousand U.S. dollars. September starting to drop. Some in the 800, 800 to 900 range. And same 800 to 900. October, November. Round trip. Um, but yeah, I think there was once I, I had to pay a hundred dollars to change my flight date and from, I went from 770 to 870, something like that. So that's right in that range. Once you get out many, many months and we get into the high season, December, obviously you're looking, you're looking at some higher numbers from mid 900s on up to even 1800. And one other one. I'm going to do uh, London Heathrow Airport to Manila. And we'll hit uh, here again. Let's hit the uh, let's hit this icon and it will populate. Interesting. Here just even uh, today, 892. Uh, this is U.S. dollars. I guess I should have it in uh, British pounds. But uh, I don't see a way unless I use my VPN to log in from Britain, from the UK. I don't see a way to change that. Anyway, sorry about that, uh, you Brits. Uh, I, I could do euros as well. I could log in from some other place, do euros. But anyway, this gives a one-on-one uh, -on -one comparison to US dollars. Anyway, you got, you got several days that, well, at least they're under a thousand. And then Next month, July, they jump up. Is that a big uh, vacation time in the UK? Could be. That, that could be. There are certain times of the year different nations tend to uh, vacation. Could have something to do with that. And they're all right around uh, 900 to 1,000 plus. October, all 900. Looks like November. Even even 700, 800 range. December, are they going to jump up? Well, they do. They do a little bit down here. The closer you get to the Christmas season. And January, back down, seven to 800. A few much higher than that. First uh, week of January, February. This is one of many sites that you can use to kind of research prices off into the uh, distant. Uh, I always go back to the airlines and purchase from the airlines. 
Uh, one reason being, especially what we found uh, during this last crisis that we went through for over two years, is that it's much easier to get refunds generally from the airline than it is from a travel agent. But I have met several expats that uh, use travel agents to the, do all their uh, travel planning, their, their hotel when they arrived, as well as their flights. I used an online travel site once, uh, I forget which one it was, and uh, I didn't realize I was paying uh, 50, about 50 US dollars for the service to book my flight, something I could have done with the airline directly. But at the time, I, I was doing a lot of research. I said, just just book the flight. And uh, I thought they were getting a commission from the airlines. Didn't realize they were also charging me. So flights are coming down to reasonable levels uh, from many areas of the world. There still are issues with uh, pilot shortages, uh, mechanic shortages, and, and other uh, personnel that work in the airline industry. Uh, my God, what happens when you when you shut down the travel industry, the hospitality in industry all over the world? They they laid off pilots, they early retired pilots, and I've got a friend who who has a commercial license, and he's he's retired uh, for several years, and he tells me he regularly gets gets uh, people airlines asking him, hey, do you want to come in for an interview? And there's a shortage. You you don't just you don't just throw a switch one day and the economy's back open and everybody's back in place. Uh, those people have found other jobs or they've retired, they've gone on with their lives. And it will take, uh, you know, I read an article the other day, there's there's a lack of pilots and, and flights from Japan. More Japanese would come here. Probably the same all over the world. The cost of fuel for uh, jet fuel and fuel for traveling all over the world was a, was an issue for a while. I think the, the those costs have come down substantially. Uh, so now it's kind of a, to some degree, it's a, a supply and demand issue. They don't uh, don't have the pilots to fly, or perhaps the planes have not been refurbished, reconditioned, and and up up to the proper status, been checked out. Not sure about that. Anyway, there are options for those of you waiting uh, for prices to come down, as we've just seen. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. See you next time.